We've recently just lost two games in a row. One against Man City in the Champions League and the other against Mainz in the league. So a little bit of a wobble there in between our uh, four other wins. But we do play Man City today in the Champions League as well as Bayer Leverkusen in the league. So I'm really hoping we can beat Man City this time. That will go a long, long way to qualifying top of the group. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back to episode 85 of Sunday League Premier League, a journeyman save. If you're enjoying this type of content and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, if you could, would mean a lot to me. Smash that bell, no, tap the bell notification and smash the like button. You don't want to get those too confused because otherwise, disastrous. It's tapping the bell, smashing the like. Anyway, guys, here we are back. We've played six games since the last left you. Uh, we beat a mini B-field 5-1, Gravenberch with a hat-trick there, Manuel Solomon and Alan Velasco. We then beat Eintrick Frankfurt 3-0, Gary Joseph, that man Jakob Kuba and Ryan Gravenberch again. We then lost our two games, 2-1 uh, to Man City. It was at the Etihad and we did score our own goal. So I feel like we probably could have drawn that game. We then had an absolute mare in the league, losing 3-2 till, three till? Three to uh, Mainz. Uh, it was pretty even until they got an 87th minute winner. So very, very frustrating for that one. Uh, we then took our frustration out on Bayer Leverkusen and Schalke putting five goals past each with Gary Joseph, Schranenbeck and Bruno Lewis on the scorecard for that one and uh, a Jakob Koba hat-trick, Schranenbeck and Bruno Lewis in a really rotated sh game against Schalke. We were at one point, uh, was it two? It was two all at one point, and I was a little bit worried, and then they got two men sent off, and it kind of all sort of imploded from then on. We have Man City today in that Champions League Group F. It is, I mean, if we win, we'll go to nine, and Standard beat Moscow, Dynamo Moscow, they'll go to six, and it makes that group very, very tight. But uh, we've probably got enough quality to definitely qualify. It'll be whether or not we can uh, top the group. We'll also play Bayer Leverkusen, who we beat 5-1 in the uh, DFB Pokal, and we have drawn Hamburger uh, in the third round, but that won't be until February. Uh, Squad-wise, everyone's looking pretty good so far. Little injuries to Manuel Solomon and Yusuf Demir, who's going to be on the bench today for a huge, huge game. Fructal and Golo hasn't been great. Goalkeeper is definitely on the cards for next year, if not January, if we have some cash. Ali at right back, Davies at left back, Zimmer and Castillo, <coughs> excuse me, in that centre of defence. Christina, Gravenberch and Tonali in the centre of midfield. Maurice on the left. Velasco is going to shift to the right and uh, Joseph up, up front. Uh, Gary Joseph just wanted to check coach report here. Uh, okay, okay, interesting. Just one con there. Uh, he is quite injury prone. If we have a look here at his... Uh, his form, you can see he's just, you can see here there's that big injury, he had another little bit of an injury, so mm, it is good that we have someone like Jakob Koba here, who, uh, <laughs> oh, I believe I didn't register him for the Champions League, because this guy is amazing, 11 goals in 10 games already in the league, he is killing it, anyway, let's get into the Man City game. I'm going to point the finger, uh, we need to show everybody that the recent praise has been justified. Gary Joseph, pick up where you left off last match, mate. Here we are, those two losses, bit of a blow. We've been through our team, let's have a quick check of Man City's team. We've got a headphone hanging on me. I'm going to jump over there. They have been in great form, still got Phil Foden, Lorenzo Luca, Declan Rice, interesting, and Ruben Diaz. In the center of defense. Declan Rice, that's an interesting choice there. And then straight off, check out the encouragement, but it is a highlight to Man City, uh, but we managed to break down the play and look to come out from the back here through Tonali and Gravenberch combined there with uh, Maurice and Davis. Maurice now on the ball, but he has given up possession just as easily as Man City did um, when we broke up the play. And oh, Thought that was a great tackle by Alley there, but Phil Foden on the ball now. Tries to drag it back, but Christina Aguilera on the ball now. 
And it is Joseph, the Englishman, coming down the right, puts a good cross in, and the header, and Komarov, the goalkeeper, plays it out to Diaz, plays it back, but Captain Davies on the ball now. Tonali, Maurice, Gravenberch, Joseph, he's offside. Got to be offside. My offside. Even I saw that, and I am really, really bad at picking offside. Fractionally offside. This is where it says go ordered, and I look like a right tit. But it's not, it's been denied. Right, Alay with the throw in. Finds Velasco, he plays it back to Alay. Christina now on the ball. Back to Alay. Alay flips it in, and Maurice can't get his head out on target. Man City coming at the back here. Standard have gone 1 0 up against Dynamo Moscow. Davis using his pace that he still has. Castillo and Zima forming a really good partnership in the centre of defence already. Velasco, Tonali, Gravenberch, Ryan Gravenberch has a pop. Has he? He's offside. Are you kidding? Yeah, thank you. They have a long range shot from outside the box and be like offside. Well, I suppose he's he's powering through, but the uh, the defender there, who's that? I don't know. Could have been Declan Rice, Ruben Diaz putting him on side. Oh, Christina. Oh, that's a penalty. That is a penalty. That is a blatant, blatant penalty. Like I say, it's always given a penalty, but it's the only time they're really checking it is if it is inside the box. So there it is. Yeah, I think it's going to be, I can't remember, is it Velasco? Yeah. Velasco with the penalty. Back in the nets. Get in. It's Bayern 2, Man City 0 after 18 minutes. And I've just noticed that Real Madrid 4 0 up in over uh, Legia Warsaw there. Other interesting games Leipzig beating Ajax, Bordeaux 0 against Atleti. All right, here's a highlight now for Man City, but it's just broken down nicely by the Bayern players. Zimmer going back to the goalkeeper. Fuchtel to Castillo, Tonali, Gravenberch, Joseph, Velasco now picking the ball up out wide, Alle, Alle, <clears throat> whips it in, header at the back post, Gravenberch couldn't get that in, that was a great play from Bayern, and some top quality goalkeeping there I think, Velasco now whips in the corner, Zimmer trying to get his head out, he is lethal in that spot, Gravenberch, Maurice, he's offside. Velasco offside. That's all right. That's okay. We're looking really good, Ruben Diaz. He's a little bit of a tactical tweak there by the looks of it. And we go into the sheds at half time looking really, really smart. All right, back for another highlight. It is us clearing the ball. Long ball. Maurice now picks up the loose one. He whips it in. Joseph. Great save by the goalkeeper. Ah, but the, and, uh, I was going to say, it's Man City looking to run counter there, and I was just shocked by how big Lorenzo Luca's little, I say little man, it's a huge, huge LA on the ball now. Christina, back to Tonali, Joseph, Velasco, Velasco back to Ali, Maurice, he's had a few headers there at that back post, Maurice, and he just can't seem to get them on target. It is Man City now. Bowden whipping in the corner, and there it is, there's a scramble in the box. Nico Barella pulls one back for Man City. Disappointing. Disappointing. It's like from a set piece. Maurice is looking a little bit tired. He could be someone to bring on. We might see what happens up this corner. I thought Zimmer was going to get to that. He doesn't. And Foden now trying to make a break here for Man City. Whipping it in. And nicely dealt with by Zimmer. Fuchtel. Is it Fuchtel? Fuchtel? Joseph, Gary Joseph, oh, from the goalkeeper, the long ball, I'm trying to pronounce my goalkeeper's name, Fuchtel, Fuchtel, <laughs> get a, just sign a goalkeeper who has a name you can pronounce, it's a long ball, Gary Joseph using his speed there, chesting the ball down and putting it in the back of the net, all right, let's have a look here at some tactical changes, uh, I am going to bring Oliver Friedrich on to the left, him of the whinging person who says he doesn't get a lot of games because, I mean, all right, like, win do we want, but I'll play you a bit and we'll see how it goes, I guess. Hasn't, to be honest, hasn't been that good. Pedro Porro having an absolute shocker there at the, the 
at the back we'll take Velasco off or Manuel Solomon here towards the end yeah we don't need to risk Yusuf Demir being 3-1 up in this game I don't think oh we've got a late highlight here for Man City and it is headed over the bar some interesting results here Fruchtel I'm never going to get that name right I'm just going to pronounce it different way every single time Oh, Christina with a great ball to Solomon. Solomon now, oh, he dithered too long on the ball, and Man City managed to get it back. They're going on the counter here now. Can Bayern? They can't. I mean, Lorenzo Luca, it's absolute giant of a man. Let's not be stupid here, boys. And let's, we'll take a good win there. We deserve that. Probably shouldn't have conceded two goals, but you know, second half was not good enough. Barry Joseph, I'm gonna say, uh, I thought you did well, mate. Give him a little bit of a. All right, we are back for the uh, game against Wild Leverkusen. Uh, just the one change is Jakob Kuba. He is coming into the uh, centre of midfield for uh, Christina. He is a little bit tired, which there it is. There you might just see it under there. He's a little bit tired. Uh, Yusuf Demir is fit, but he is going to stay uh, on the bench for this one. A bit disappointed with Sandra Tonali's average rating. is very, very low. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. But anyway, hopefully we don't have a uh, European hangover and bottle this game. And uh, we are 25 minutes in, and uh, we've got a first highlight. And this by Leverkusen with the ball, they'll be they'll be looking to. Uh, to get one back over us after we knocked him out of the uh, Pokal, the DFB Pokal, but that highlight ends just as quick as it started, pretty much. We're in third at the moment. Velasco with the corner, whips it in. Zimmer gets his head to it, but uh, not on target. Stuttgart and Berlin, they look the teams. Uh, and Leipzig nipping on our heels. Herder Berlin will play, uh, I believe, Gladbach by the looks of it later during the day. And it is by the Cusin uh, with Wurtz on the ball now for them. Florian Wurtz, I believe. Maurice takes the ball, finds Kuba and Tonali, Gravenberch, finds Alfonso Davis tearing down the left hand side, wasted. If I had to use one word to sum up that shot from the captain, wasted. Gravenberch loses the ball now as by the Cusin. Oh, but straight to Castillo, the Mexican. LA, Velasco down the right here. Good. Maurice always trying for those headers. Always trying for those headers. Can't quite get them. A win here would lift us up into first place on the table. So we definitely, definitely need to be doing a lot more than we are doing now. I don't like what I saw from you guys. I mean, they didn't. We should be. And by Leverkusen are not having the best season. I believe they are coming the table at the moment. You'd expect a little bit more from the team of their calibre, but uh, here, oh, Gravenberch just uh, picks Florian Wurtz's pocket there. Now we go back to the Egyptian LA and Zimmer now. LA, Velasco now, trying to get down this right hand side. Oh, amazing little run from Velasco, but he loses the ball. And it is Escobedo with the headband and crashes across the crossbar. We managed to clear the danger. Let's just shout out and demand some more. We're looking very, very lackluster out there. Schneiden, Shiren Beck is playing absolutely awful. We're going to make substitution already. <clears throat> I was going to be on uh, Yusuf Demir for him, but Velasco is looking a bit tired as well. So we're going to bring on Yusuf Demir for Velasco. Uh, and we will bring on... Seawald for that, and we'll go. We'll just do a look at this. Look at this for a shuffle. Boom, and we'll drop Tonali out to the right ish there. And Jakob Kuba up front should he should make a difference. He is someone who can really, really turn the game and demand some more now. As uh, we get a goal kick, hoofed long. Joseph gathers up the head, but then it is lost straight away. And we are definitely suffering suffering from the European hangover at this point. Yusuf Demir, Tanali, Seawald, Seawald, Yusuf Demir, Ale, back to Seawald, and he goes back to Zimmer now. Seawald and Zimmer just playing little one-two Castillo now. Gravenberch 
Opens up Joseph. Joseph. Oh, I should have scored. Should have scored. Double substitution by Bayer Leverkusen. We have the corner as well. It's going to be Tonali to take. Whips it in. And it is cleared away. Leverkusen now with the corner. Oh, no. That was disappointing. Really, really disappointing. Here's Sandra Tonali on another 6.6. .6. Gonna pause the game here to make a substitution. And my assistant is recommending Gravenberg because he's tired, but Sandra Tonali on a five is poor. No one really to bring on for him, unfortunately. Uh this is annoying. All right, I think it's going to be Manuel Solomon coming on for Tonali. And he'll swap with Yusuf Demir there. Point the finger, pick up where you left off last match. Just do something, because at this point no one's doing anything. We go to very attacking. I'm going to shout the boys to demand some more. Because Bayer Leverkusen now looking for a second to put this game well and truly beyond doubt. Yusuf Demir, great little tackle there. Solomon and Demir combining. Alain, but Solomon loses out, and he has got to be offside. Has to be offside. Thank God. Thank God. This will have, I mean, this is not good for us. This is not good. At least the board don't expect us to be uh, really, really sort of, <coughs> excuse me, challenging for a title at the moment, because we have we we not <clears throat> this one looks like it is going to peter out and we are going to lose this i'm going to demand some more from the boys but there it is that is game set and match and we should have scored and they shouldn't have scored the goalkeeper had a man in the match that's fine luca brand setter How does Luca Brand set up? He's not great, but Christian Fuchtel is he is just costing his games. I'm gonna thrash my arms <clears throat> and shameful. It was really bad. Yep, and that sums it up. Surprise victory for Bayley the Cusin. We're third. We've lost three games. We probably should have won two of them and not got smashed by Hertha. But whatever, we'll take the Hertha loss, but the other two, I mean, even two draws were on 26. We're five points behind Hertha Berlin at this point. And not really looking like title challenges. The board have got a C-class. So in high reputation players, very disappointed. Blau Zimmer, hello. <clears throat> Everything else is, uh, you know, looking okay. But uh, we need to qualify for the Champions League. And at the moment, we are struggling. And it, you know, I think it's sacked from here. <sighs> This not looking good. We've got five and a half million here. I might, you know, got some players who we could shift for a new goalkeeper, but Christian Fuchtel, he is, he's cost us quite a few games, I think, actually. Yeah. All uh, right, when are we going to be back? I think it's probably going to be, uh, it'll be standard Leipzig or Leipzig Gladbach, I'm thinking. Uh, when we'll come back. Depends how we go against Dynamo Moscow, but we probably shouldn't click on them like that we probably should beat them and that would uh, wrap up qualifications so it should be a done deal uh yeah well yeah so somewhere there anyway guys hope you enjoyed that episode uh, if you haven't you're not subscribed if you could do that would mean a lot to me smash that like button and i'll catch you guys next time bye